Things start off normal. A nightmare inspired by a fictional fantasy horror story, born in an alleyway that eventually turned into a real alley. My name is Henry, and I'm the entity responsible for the fate that came to my previous older best friend, Cal. Now, now, I assume you are a believer in the supernatural, the unknown. We are forbidden to believe such things because your parents are very religious and want you to stay clear of evil thoughts and actions. And that's true. Please listen to them. Trust me. But what happens if you do not listen? During my suicide in 07, I was brutally placed into a mental institution and locked up for what I had done to my old friend. Months later, I decided to find a way out. Ten years later, and I have done so much to ruin other people's lives, just like other people did to my life. A good example of this was my ex-best friend, Cedric Axton. Cedric, well, he was special to me before he backstabbed me for someone else. The only thing he would bitch about was how untrustworthy I was, and how he targeted close-minded people, and asks them if they questioned my mental state. This was back in 08. And to be honest, I have no regrets today. My soul is merciless, restless, and from my decisions I have chosen a lifestyle that would harm the lives of this damn community for many years to come. Day by day, night by look night, and I would do anything in my power to get you out of my way, and if I have to get out, you out of everyone's way, I will.
We should, we should, we should. We should take the elevator. Come on, it'll we'll be fun. What's the worst that can happen? Good much. Here we are. Wait for me. It's just a dream. It's just a dream. It's just a nightmare. Don't, don't, don't hurt me. I'm reporting line here in Panama, California. Just heard in that Cedric actually committed suicide just here at this bridge. We do have one eyewitness. Sir, may you please tell us what happened with Cedric? You know, I was just walking by. You know, I had a, I was running late and I, I, I heard a splatting noise and I came over here to check and then I see this this this, this white kid. He was on the floor just bleeding. Sir, Cedric was Latino. Latino? His name is Cedric? Yes. And he's Latino? Yes, sir. White Marsh Latino, like, but I, as he was just on the floor, like, twitching, and so I was like, he, he, he's dead. I mean, I don't know what kind of Latino does that, but it's, not, it's none of my business. As you can see, it was very easy to manipulate Cedric into thinking he was hallucinating and was going crazy. It was me. I played his thoughts and he, oh, he didn't kill himself. It was made to look so. Now he's down there with me forever. And I will always remind him, you've always been my best friend.